Hello, good day. Yeah, welcome you to another class. That is the office practice class for the SS1 students. Today we'll be looking at cooperative society. Cooperative society. And our objective for today is to look at the men and the merit of a corporate society. Followed by, we're going to also explore the differences and similarities between the corporate society and a limited company. Let's not forget that in our last class, we looked at definition of corporate society, futures of corporate society, and also we also look at the history of the cooperative society. Talking about the history of corporate society, developed countries like the China, Indonesia, and the Asian countries became Asian tiger as a result of corporate society. It's a developing agent. It makes countries to develop. And that's why you can hear about China today. You can hear about Indonesia today. You can hear about Pakistan today. These are the countries that have developed as a result of the cooperative society. Okay, let's look at the fourth objective here. Make and the make of society, as I've said earlier on, is a developing agent or an agent of development. It also serves as a saving scheme. Countries have made most of their citizens to have savings as a result of the corporate society. It is also an aspect of entrepreneurship, whereby people can get money from the thrift and credit society and start their little businesses. The merit of a corporate society. If you look at it in an African setting here, most of African countries, their government normally place more regulation on the corporate society. In short, they are the ones that control the corporate society. And this has led to what? To more demerit in the aspect and the running of the cooperative society. Don't forget that we have different type of society. The consumers, corporate society, what they do, they buy goods and they sell to their members at a reduced price. We also have the multi-purpose corporate society. What does it mean? It means that parliamentary wants to join more than one society, one join like three corporate society, you can put the three together as a multi-purpose corporate society. We also have the producers cooperative society. What they do, they involve in farming. So the corporate society will produce, the, will provide the seeds, the implements, the land, and the advice. They advise them on what to do. And at the end, the goods will be sold by the farmer to their members at a reduced price. For example, here in Preston, we have a corporate society, and we can see at the end of the year, some things have been shared to the staff member at a reduced price. Even your parents, you can ask your parents at home, some of them are members of society, and they know the benefit they are deriving from it. Okay, the rest of what we have today are in your Google Doc. There you will see more explanation. Here you will see your, your YouTube videos and some scanned documents that you need to go through. Even when you go there, when you go through there, please go through them properly, very well, and study them. And you use that to study to, to answer your class tasks and your data activity. Don't forget, please and please, I will prepare if you will answer your class tasks on this Google Doc. Thank you, and God bless you.